Hey, it's Ted here. I was working on a D4 uh, 210 horse common rail diesel today. So I went down and did a run-up test and did a uh, relative compression test with a scan tool. Found number three looked uh, like it was off, maybe 10%. So we wanted to try and figure out if one of the injectors is the issue. And one of the tests you can do is to do an injector return fuel balance test. And Common sells it, I believe. Volvo sells it. It's for common rail engines for Bosch injectors. Pretty standard. Um, here are the results. I didn't have a chance to actually um, do this video while I was running the engine, but I wanted to at least show you the results of what we found, which pretty much shows us what's uh, what the problem is. So let's take a look. Hook these up to the return fuel. And I'll pull one of the fittings out here, and it's got a little cap on it. I got to put back on. Um, it's got an O-ring, and that basically is what you're going to put in where the return line is. Okay, so here's the results, and you can see right away the return fuel. We've got the return fitting here. Um, you put one of these where the return line attaches each individual hose. It'll do six cylinders, but right away we can see we've got 30 in the first couple and 60 and then 30. So right away... We can tell that from the front, this was injector one, two, and three. That um, cylinder run-up test indicated that that injector was indeed not pulling its weight. And that shows what the results are. So that shows you really what uh, happens when an injector is bypassing fuel, especially a common rail injector. So you can find it through the dealership. Um, you can order that kit and it definitely nails the injector that is in the common rail system is bypassing fuel which leans out that cylinder. All right, I hope this helps you diagnose uh, common rail injection a little bit and we'll talk to you next time.